Come on guys, it is a fine evening here in the end times in paradise here uh, somewhere in the Catskill Mountains on this beautiful Thursday evening, August 29th, 2019. I am sad to report <coughs> that the Trump supporter who owns this trailer by the side of the road has <coughs> returned home, so I need to act furtively to bring you my We Are So Fucked Doomer headlines of the day. She has run off to the store, so uh, I think I have about 20 minutes to bring you a gorilla. We are so fucked. Uh, Doomer headline of the day for August 29th, 2019. And, you know, so I'm over here on Common Dreams. On Common Dreams, trying to <coughs> figure out which of the many stories to uh, feature in today's. But what I'm going to do instead, since I don't have time, to figure <coughs> this all out, we are going to do a, a test here. You know, it's been a while since I've had the bullshit detector and no shit Sherlock button. So what I'm going to do here, we're going to go through common dreams. And what I'm going to do is, you know, read the headline in the first little quote from the article that, uh, and what you're going to do is to decide which button you would pick up as you read. As we, we're just going to go down the headlines as they appear in Common Dreams today. <clears throat> Headline, calling for an end of the war against nature Greta Thunberg's arrival in the U.S. brings a swell of attention to global climate strike. <clears throat> Quote, <coughs> something, something that is really common among, among young people is we just are not given that platform. Now, Greta and millions of other kids are showing that we don't need it handed to us. We can fight for the platform. Yes. So we can bring an end to the war against nature compliments of Greta Thunberg. Which button, obviously, guys. And once again, I am serving notice. I am in full support of Greta Thunberg. Uh, the problem is Greta Thunberg did not read that uh, essay from Adam Sachs that I read out yesterday, written when Greta was six, talking about how completely fucked we are, and it makes zero difference for the fate of the planet whether greenhouse gas emissions drop to zero tomorrow or not while I cheer on getting rid of greenhouse gas emissions. We're fucked. It's way beyond that. Anyway, okay. Which button? Headline. Leaked UN draft report warns that rising warming oceans are, quote, poised to unleash misery, close quote, worldwide quote the new assessment this is this new dire UN report details anticipated declines in fish stocks as well as increases in damage by superstorms and displacement can you say uh, climate refugees due to rising seas Bullshit detected or no shit, Sherlock. No shit, Sherlock. All right, number three. A sociopathic disregard for our future as Donald Trump's EPA set to gut restrictions 
on planet warming methane emissions. Quote, at a time when the federal government's job should be to help localities and states move faster toward cleaner energy and a cleaner economy, the government is walking off the field. Bullshit detector or no shit Sherlock? If your answer was both no shit Sherlock, mainly from sociopathic disregard for our future, is the no shit Sherlock. And then uh, the cleaner economy. Bullshit detected. Take precaution. All right. Next. <clears throat> madness, madness. Dozens of groups push back against Trump proposal to bring back supersonic planes. Quote, the world is burning. The world is burning and supersonic planes would pour jet fuel on the fire. Bullshit detected or no shit Sherlock? No shit Sherlock. Thank you, Donald fucking Trump. All right. Okay. <clears throat> no time left for business as usual. Climate activist plan day of mass civil disobedience to hashtag shut down Washington, D.C. Quote, there is a tremendous amount of power that drives through those streets and parks next to those sidewalks and walks into those buildings. We want them, meaning the bureaucrats who run Washington, to think about what they are doing with their power. I fooled you. Next. Well. <clears throat> Greta Thunberg comes to America. Celebrations as teen climate activist arrives at Coney Island. And we're going to start with a quote from Bill McKibben himself talking to Greta, quote, your journey is a symbolic reminder of the ways we need to work together across every ocean. Yeah, celebrations greeting Greta Thunberg. Oh, come on now, that ain't even bullshit. That's bullshit. One more time, I 100 support percent support Greta Thunberg. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Have you noticed that the stories on the Amazon wildfires have pretty much disappeared out of the mainstream media? You will not find any more stories left in the mainstream media about <coughs> the Amazon fires. <clears throat> But here in Common Dreams, with Amazon rainforest in flames, Donald Trump moves to open 16.7 million acre Alaskan rainforest to corporate exploitation. Quote, if the planet could talk it would be screaming in agony or weeping in despair. Maybe both. I think that's a no-brainer. No shit, Sherlock. Yes. Donald Trump trying to out Bozo, Bozo Nara. You know, they're always trying to outdo each other, those two fuckers. Okay.
let's go back to uh, the shithole country of Brazil. <clears throat> Indigenous tribes on front line of Amazon rainforest fires vow to resist Bozo Naro's destruction of Mother Nature. Quote, we are putting our bodies and our lives on the line to try to save our territories. Bullshit detected or no shit Sherlock. Once again. No shit Sherlock. All right. Next. <clears throat> Lawless and despicable Harvard freshman deported after immigration agents search social media and find friends critical of U.S. policy. Quote, this is a move so perverse, so grotesque, as to defy explanation. No shit, Sherlock. Well, I mean, it really isn't that hard to find the explanation for why a Harvard freshman was deported after immigration agents searched his social media and his computer and found friends critical of U.S. policy. Okay, back to the indigenous in the Amazon. <clears throat> Headline. Indigenous women of the Amazon send a call. The fight for Mother Earth is the mother of all fights. Quote. The lives of every future generation and our species depends on the collective effort to generate new development models. Humanity has no plan B for the Earth. Our fight is so urgent that we must all get together right now. The fight for Mother Earth is the mother of all fights. Okay, next. Well, guys, I'm almost embarrassed to read this one out. Welcome to the U.S., Greta. With your help, we can save the planet and ourselves. Hmm. Quote, even in such a divided and troubled country, there is hope between us. We can beat the climate destroyers. I'm not going, I don't feel like I need to insult your intelligence, but obviously this deserves two of them. That was bullshit. Bullshit detected. Take precaution. With Greta Thunberg's help, we can save the planet and ourselves. Uh-huh. <clears throat> okay, we're going to go from Greta to Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders' Green New Deal is a game changer for food and farming. Quote, Finally, finally, we have a true declaration of war against fossil fuel pollution and global warming, a radical legislative program that can head off climate catastrophe and supercharge a just transition to a 21st century green commonwealth. I think that deserves a double one. All right, we 
we have Greta Thunberg teaming up with Bernie Sanders to save the planet. Yes, a true declaration of war against fossil fuels. Okay. Now, here's something that I do need to talk about, and, and I'm probably going to come back and revisit some of these stories either here or on Collapse Chronicles, and I'm actually quite impressed with uh, Common Dreams. You know, Common Dreams is one of these major little greeny, little lefty, greeny, limp dick environmentalist, uh, you know, cheering on like the lefties. And so I was somewhat surprised, you know, with their with their hatchet job, with their well-deserved hatchet job of uh, Jair Bozo Naro. I was quite shocked to see this story from Common Dreams uh, out of Bolivia with that fucking planet eater, that lying little sack of shit snake in the grass down there in Bolivia known as Evo Morales, Evil Morales for anyone, I I any little, well I can't imagine that there's any little limp dick lefty greeny environmentalist on this channel believing for one fucking second that evil Morales is anything but a fucking planet eater cut out of the same mold as Jair Bozonaro. Actually, my guess is that 99.9% .9 of the people uh, listening to this have no fucking clue who evil Mo, uh, Morales is. But anyway, thank you, Common Dreams. All joking aside, no refuge for the Amazon rainforest in Evo Morales' Bolivia? Quote, Evil Morales, you know, Morales, morals. Evil Morales has carefully cultivated his image on the world stage as an indigenous defender of Pachamama, otherwise known as Mother Earth, but his domestic policies belie another reality. Yes, the reality that evil morals is a twisted, sick motherfucker who's every bit needs to go as, uh, as Jair Bozo Naro, but only a little bit of the Amazon rainforest is in Bolivia, which is the reason that I never talk about uh, evil morals. But anyway, no refuge for the Amazon rainforest in evil morals Bolivia. No shit, Sherlock. Good for you, Common Dreams, because you better believe that Common Dreams is going to take a lot of shit from these clueless fucking moron little social justice warriors thinking that evil morals is doing a fucking thing to save this planet. Okay, next. <clears throat> Headline, Tackling the Climate Emergency and Protecting Our Oceans Go Hand in Hand. Quote, Scientists are clear that we need to protect at least 50% of our global oceans by the year 2050 if we are to safeguard wildlife and to help mitigate the impacts of climate change. Bullshit detected or no shit, Sherlock. You're probably getting wise to me. No shit, Sherlock. All right, we have two more. <clears throat> This could almost be a quote from Evil Marl's headline, We are all indigenous. Quote, How can indigenous wisdom, indigenous wisdom, the understanding 
that everything is connected transcend the power to exploit this planet and continue to shrug off the consequences of doing so, pushing them off on future generations. How can indigenous wisdom transcend the power to exploit the planet? And finally, we will end up, we're going to end up, this is end up in the Amazon rainforest. <clears throat> I'm not sure what this means. Uh, the, anyway, the headline, the open Amazon, the open Amazon and its enemies, a call for action and optimism, yes. <clears throat> Quote, the Amazon rainforest, now on fire, has become the central political and geopolitical hotspot for humanity's right to its own future. Optimism. Optimism is the gasoline that must feed the fight. Optimism is the gasoline in uh, the Amazon rainforest today. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. Anyway, what happened to my sign? Uh. Oh, there it is. Anyway, guys, I better wrap up this little uh, pop quiz on bullshit detected versus no shit Sherlock because my Trump supporter are probably driving up the driveway at any moment and I do not want her catching me reading common dreams on her deck. Get out there and uh, share some common dreams while you still can. Bye, guys.